It is Tuesday, February 23rd, 2021. We're going to be doing a start of the day, a focus of intention for the next 24 to 48 hours as directed by spirit. This is not a reading. A reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice, hopefully led by your intuition. As I always say, your intuition is your superpower. Everyone's born intuitive. Not everyone listens to their intuition. As you can see, with the state of the world and just like that we have a card um and this is coming from one of my favorite decks the adinkra ancestral guidance cards made by simone breziando who is no longer here with us she crossed over earlier this year and we are grateful that she's in the ancestral realms and so today the card is called as ram ne nesro ma which means moon and star a symbol of love faithfulness and harmony that exists in the bonding between man and woman And let's see what this card has to say. Balance, equally yoked, and faithfulness. It is time to harmonize the energies between the masculine and feminine in your life, relationships, and within yourself. Basically, they're saying, as all human beings, whether you are born male or female, or identify as male or female, or identify as non-binary, you do have DNA sequencing in your body of feminine and masculine chromosomes, feminine and masculine energies as well, feminine and masculine hormones. Again, no matter what you identify with, no matter how you were born. So they're saying that you need to start balancing the masculine and feminine energies, basically the yin and yang in your life. And it says, find the common ground between these two energies, appreciate the differences and form an unshakable bond that is diverse and sync and true. And additional meanings for this card, despite what you've been taught, the masculine and feminine can honor and coexist without difficulty. The yin to your yang and a solid partnership. When's the last time you actually checked in with yourself? When's the last time you looked in the mirror and told yourself that you loved yourself and you honored yourself no matter how you felt about yourself, no matter how human society taught you was right or wrong, no matter what, because we've been conditioned in a patriarchal society. Over 2,000 years, we've been a patriarchal society because before that, we honored the masculine and we honored the feminine. The feminine was the leader in most spiritual traditions and most places and not that it wasn't not that they weren't kings yes there definitely were but there was an honor between the king and the queen there was an honor between the goddess and the gods there was an honor and a balance of the feminine and the masculine like women goddesses and gods had power and they respected each other now some did and some did not depending the cultures but again there was always a balance between the positive and the negative the feminine and the masculine the yin and the yang and we've lost that because for 2000 years now we've been programmed we've been conditioned in a patriarchal society that men know everything mind you that is not the case we can exist we can coexist with other people we've been doing it for years but when you fight within yourself or what you feel is right or wrong what you feel is masculine or feminine what you feel is good or bad if you don't learn how to embrace all of you then there will not stay then you will not be able to stand at all with what's coming your way now you have to build those solid partnerships within yourself but also within your space and if you feel that these partnerships that they extend out to your family your friends your loved ones your colleagues your co-workers your classmates you know your neighbors your community your representatives whoever that is for you if you are not connecting with them in that space and you don't have that solid partnership, then you need to start questioning, are these the things that I want to align with? Are these the things that I want to stay connected to? Are these the things that I want to acknowledge in my life? Are these the, Do these things even fit me anymore? Do these paradigms, do these thoughts, do these patterns, do these frequencies, do these dreams, do these visions, do these ideas, do these impressions, do they even resonate with me anymore? Because partnerships, relationships, family, no matter where it comes from, whether they're genetic, spirit, friendships, whatever that is, business, personal, career, whatever that is, it has to align with you. And some relationships could be dead and gone, but you feel obligated to holding on to certain relationships. You feel obligated to holding on to certain situations, even though they're toxic to you. 
So are you able to balance your own energies and other toxic situations? You can't. So you have to understand that you'll be able to coexist with other people, but maybe your course with specific relationships no longer fit. So I honestly feel that this card is literally telling us you need to find the love within yourself, but you have to be honest with yourself and be authentic with yourself first in order to address your own inner dramas and own inner dilemmas, because some of them can be dramas and some of them can be just dilemmas. And that's okay too, whether it's a drama or whether it's a dilemma, it's still vital and it's still important to deal with it. And then you can move and start realizing to see what's good for me in my life. What should I be doing? What I shouldn't be doing? And then you can move forward towards your relationships. I don't need to be holding on to this and I don't need to be holding on to that because relationships are supposed to build you up, not tear you apart. So stop down talking to yourself. Stop downplaying yourself. Stop making yourself feel a type of way because what other people have told you, what other systems have taught you, and what other paradigms have made you think is true because it's not so you have to be the yin sometimes you have to be the yin to your own yang because if you can't even be okay with your positive your negative your masculine your feminine your light and your dark how are you going to connect to other people so again you have to have that love and you have to be faithful to yourself first like are you faithful to yourself do you treat yourself good do you replenish your energies do you take care of your energy do you take care of your spirit do you take care of your body do you give it sustenance do you give it things that it needs for your body like even your ideas, those are like nutrients. Like your ideas that you stick and you stick in your head and you replay over and over again, those are vital nutrients as well. And those can actually harm you or benefit you as well. So even how you think, those are like vitamins and nutrients that you're processing all the time. So again, are you faithful to yourself? Are you in harmony with yourself? It could be definitely powerful to see yourself from a different pers perspective. So if you feel you need to go at it alone and you can or ask for a mentor or teacher to help you with that, then you definitely be going towards a different direction. So you can see yourself from a higher perspective, like outside of your body, viewing yourself, viewing your relationships from the outside to see where it is where you can navigate and start balancing more for yourself individually and then connecting to those other relationships in your life. But again, you have to understand that you have to find some common ground between two energies, whether it's an energy with another person or the energy within yourself or an, your ener or the energy with a system or the energy within an organization or the energy of a career. You have to be able to make that choice and realize that if you don't love yourself, if you don't, if you're not faithful for yourself and if you're not even harmony in yourself, how is anything else going to align itself to that love and that faithfulness and that harmony and that balance that you're seeking. I hope I help. I hope I put some things in perspective. I hope I made you feel better. If it doesn't apply, then let that shit fly. Again, I don't resonate with everyone and everyone doesn't resonate with me. Just like you don't like everyone in the world, everyone doesn't like me and that's okay too. Please follow your intuition working with any spiritual advisor. Even if that means you do not work with me, your intuition will guide you to who, what, when, where, and how to work with those spiritual advisors and practitioners. At this time, I only have one appointment left for the entire month of March 2021. It's at the last week of March and then I am scheduling into early April and mid-April 2021 at this time. If you're not interested in service, you can definitely go check out my webinars or my products my family and i create and carry over 250 products as well as distributors for some well-known products as well and you can check that out the almightypineapple.com thank you for liking commenting subscribing to my channel thank you for sharing this video with someone who you feel it's going to resonate with thank you for respecting my boundaries thank you for always fucking with me thank you for always being there for me no matter what the almighty pineapple llc is trademark copyright and registered with several different classifications in the united states government any duplication of this content is subject to legal recourse is guided by my legal team and again thank you for fucking with me and i'll talk to y'all later